To draw a Lewis structure for the hydronium ion, we're going to start with Lewis structure for just simple water, H2O, and then we'll work our way up to the ion H3O. It, and of course it has a positive charge, and we'll see in just a moment how that happens. So first of all, let's start out with H2O, simple water. Of course we have hydrogen, which contains one valence electron, and oxygen, which contains six valence electrons. We have two of these. That means we have two total valence electrons for the hydrogen, six for the oxygen, to give us a total of eight valence electrons. So if we're going to draw a water structure, it looks like this. So we have an oxygen in the middle, because that's the only atom here that can make the central structure. And uh, let's say we have a hydrogen over here and a hydrogen over there, and making a bond like that. Uh, the hydrogen's single atom is used in the bond here. Hydrogen single atom is used in the bond there. And then oxygen, starting with six valence electrons, used two to make the bonds. It's a little uneven, so let me redraw this a little bit, make it look a little better. So there's the bond. And then, of course, then we are left with four valence electrons, so we'll put two over here and two over there. All right. So now, what happens when another hydrogen comes along? Now, hydrogen by itself typically will be an ion, and it will have its its electron removed, because usually hydrogen is bonded with a very strong electronegative element. So when that is then removed, we end up at a hydrogen ion, and it comes along and is attracted to the negative charges of the oxygen. Now, since it has no electrons to contribute, it's going to form a bond where both of the electrons are contributed by oxygen. And so what we end up then, we end up with something that looks like this. We have an oxygen in the middle, we have a hydrogen over here, we have a hydrogen over here, and now we have a third hydrogen over there, but it came with no additional electrons. And then we still have the two electrons on this side right there. Now since, with the extra hydrogen, we then have to have one more electron for a total of nine electrons. And in this particular case, notice we only have two, four, six, eight total electrons involved in the bonding, and with two free electrons there, there's no longer a match. So there's one shortage, there's a shortage of one single electron, which makes this now into an ion, which is going to have a positive charge. So that's how we draw the hydronium ion in, with a Lewis structure. Uh, and again, notice that since there's an electron missing, it, the, whole, the whole ion has a positive plus one charge. And there you go. That's how we do that.